Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I just got home from running a bunch of errands. It's a little bit after 11 and I feel like my head has been in such a fog all morning. The third trimester fatigue has hit me so hard this last week and I'm going to give you guys more of an update on my 32 week appointment that I had last week later on in the video and just give you guys an overall update on how I'm feeling and doing now that I am kind of like mid third trimester. We are nearing the end very soon here, but something that I've been struggling with has been that third trimester fatigue and like pregnancy brain. I feel like I don't even remember what I was doing this morning. All I know is that I just got home from running some errands and I want to jump into today's video. I do have some lunch cooking. So we're going to start the vlog now. I'm going to go eat and then I'll hop back on later and give you guys that 32 week appointment update. But we are starting the vlog in baby girl's room because I recently got a bunch of stuff in off of my registry from my sister and my grandma down in North Carolina. So I wanted to do a little registry haul with you guys. We, Harris's mom and I, started to organize baby girl's dresser so i quickly want to run through with you guys what we did there and then we also came up with a game plan for like the remainder of baby girl's decor and during my little outing this morning i did pick up two things for that and i think i might finish up decorating this wall space above her dresser in today's video as well so we're just going to jump right into it i have a few packages here from, like I said, my registry. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me if I am going to be sharing my registry. My mom still wants to pick some things up off of that. And I extended it to a few friends. So I'm just waiting for them to grab their picks off of the registry. The registry is not big and extensive by any means. And whatever is left, it is like the small stuff. So we'll see what's left on it after my family and friends finish picking through it. And if I think it's worth posting, I'll probably post it over on Instagram. And then if any of you guys want to get anything for a baby girl, you can. You're not obligated to. I would be so grateful if you did. But I still don't know if I'm going to share that yet. But my sister did go on. I was like, great, you're already spoiling her. She went on and bought like eight things off my registry. Also, side note, I'm like terrified that I'm getting sick again. I feel like a little tickly up in here and I just don't feel my best, which might be contributing to like the brain fog and fatigue, but my throat feels a little scratchy and I'm scared I'm getting sick again. Anyway, first thing my sister picked up for me, she grabbed this swaddle, which this was like a last minute add to my registry. Now I do have these which these are the love to dream swaddles. These only go up to eight and a half pounds. And like I mentioned, my family is all betting that baby girl's gonna be over eight pounds. I don't know if she's gonna get into this and I don't know if she's going to like this. This is one of the ones where their hands have to be up by their head. And the boys actually did not like these and I never wound up using these. So these are basically fresh and new. But what I did wind up using for the boys in the first few weeks of their life were just muslin blankets, muslin swaddles. However, I came across this one and it is another like pod style swaddle. However, the baby can have their arms down by their sides. This one, I believe goes up to 12 pounds. So it would last her the first few weeks of her life, even if she is a chunky baby. I figured I would add this to my registry and give this a go. I do have a bunch of the swaddle me Velcro swaddles that I used with the boys once they kind of outgrew the muslin blankets. So those I'm pretty set on and good for like three months to when she starts rolling over or like two months until she starts rolling over. Um, but I thought, I'm pretty sure this is the same brand. I thought this would be cool to try and it had a super cute floral pink design on it. So my sister picked that up. I'm gonna go through everything my sister picked up first. She also grabbed by my grandma. She also grabbed a bunch of bows for her. I had two different packs of bows on my registry and she picked up both packs of bows. And so baby girl now has two, 28 
different bows for me to coordinate with every single one of her outfits. That is like one of the most exciting things that I am looking forward to is slapping a big bow on her head and matching one to every single one of her outfits she's going to be wearing. So this first pack is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven neutral bows. These seem like a cottony sweater material. It says nylon. It's not like the same material that these ones are. These ones are more of like a tight material, if that makes sense. Like a dance tight material. They are very stretchy. This pack, see how like stretchy this is? So I know these aren't going to leave indents on her head. This pack came with 21 different colors. She seriously has every single color imaginable just in this pack. But these ones are a little bit bigger and they kind of have a little bit of like a sparkle to them. They also are ribbed. I don't know if you guys can see that with the lighting. These ones are ribbed and these ones are just like a smooth tight material. That's like the best way I can describe it is like the ends tights. But she has seriously every single color, black, tan, teal, red, navy, white, pink. And even with this pack, baby girl is set with her bows and I'm so excited for that. And then my sister also picked up, if you guys know the boys, they're obsessed with their little giraffe. Kiki is what we call it, it's a blankie. We have somehow come around to calling it their Kiki and it has just stuck. And so we of course had to get one for baby girl. Paris's sister was the one who got them for the boys. It was in like a little gift basket that she brought to the hospital um but they do sell them on amazon little giraffe has their own standalone website and an instagram and all that kind of stuff but they do sell some of their products over on amazon and so i added to my registry the little pink one and my sister picked it up for a baby girl and jack's favorite colors are purple and pink and i know he's going to try and steal this from her i'm probably going to have to wind up getting him a pink one since his blue one is pretty much ripped to shreds. Ben's is in really good condition. I don't know why Jax got so destroyed. He went through a phase at like two years old where he wanted to bring it everywhere with him and I let him and then it started to rip and then I got him the black one, but he never clung on to the black one the same way he did to the light blue one. So his light blue one is super ripped, but he saw this and he told me he wanted this. So I'm probably going to have to get him a pink one. So that he doesn't steal it from baby girl but she has her little baby blanket already for my sister and then the last thing that my sister oh no she had two more things one more small thing she picked up a pack of frig thinkies which frig brand used to be called the bibs brand they like rebranded and I used the bibs binkies with the boys. So I just added a bunch of different two packs of the zero to six month binkies to my registry. And she picked up this um, pink and cream one. And these ones have like little hearts and scalloped edges. They came out with a bunch of different designs when it was just like the bibs brand. It was just like the basic round colored binky though. They did have really cute colors, which I liked. I do have a bunch of different Binky options on my registry, but my sister picked up those to start with. The boys didn't use a binky honestly until like month two. I think their mouth was just too small for it, but I will bring those to the hospital and see if baby girl likes them. And then the last thing my sister picked up, which I am so grateful she did, this was like an essential that if nobody picked up, I was going to pick up myself before baby girl got here, like probably in the next few weeks, because I do want to set this up. She picked up this rolling cart i've seen people over on tiktok set these up in like a postpartum cart and you have like snacks and waters diapers and like diaper changing essentials and then like your pump and parts and anything else you'll need they set this up next to their bed so that they can wheel it easily in the middle of the night and then even like bring it downstairs the next day all of your like postpartum newborn essentials are on this and i really wanted to try that out this time i did use like a little diaper caddy with the boys it was one of those like handheld ones which was great it held all like the diapers and the diaper changing things but i thought it was very smart to have like snacks and water bottles on there and like pump parts extra onesies for blowouts in the middle of the night all those kinds of things i plan on building this in the next few weeks and getting this stocked so that's everything my sister picked up and then my grandma which i will insert a clip it's downstairs she picked up the 
is it called? Fisher Price, right? That's like the well-known brand. Fisher Price um, portable bassinet. And this I saw my friend use last time around with her second son. She would place him in this outside when they were playing because the canopy on it is UVA, I believe, protected. Um, this I plan on bringing with me to like parks, play dates, Harris's parents' house for when we're sitting by the pool outside when I'm playing with the boys. It's just like a nice little contained safe space for baby girl to lay. And like I said, the top is UVA, I believe, protected up to a certain degree. Um, she picked up that and then she also grabbed, you can get um, like different sheets for it to go in it. Um, these are just like round bassinet sheets. I picked these up so that if she has any spit up or issues in that, I could just take this off and wash it instead of physically cleaning the pad that comes with it. So that is everything that my family picked up off of my registry recently. My grandma also picked this up. My cousin has a baby and she swears by these Perlum Pin Pin sleep sacks. I do have a bunch of sleep sacks for, I don't even remember when we started putting the boys in sleep sacks, like a year plus. They were sleep sacks until they were like three years old. I have a bunch of them, but my cousin said she swears by these. And so my grandma picked one up for me to try with baby girl. It's in like a cream white dusty rose floral pattern, which is really pretty. And it does feel like nice and thick and sturdy. And I'm always open to trying new sleep sacks since my boys loved and lived by those. You can never have too many. So that is everything so far that I've gotten off my registry. Aside from what I shared in like my registry must have videos, you can't see, but I have like my hatch machine. I got diapers off my registry. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I feel like I got a few other things from a family member very early on, but this is everything I got in recently. I just heard my toaster beep, which is my hash brown. I'm gonna go make myself some eggs and eat that for lunch. And then I'll come back up here and I'll show you guys what her dresser is looking like and tell you guys about the plan that I have for this wall over here. Okay, lunch has been devoured. I just opened up a package and I got something on my shirt and I cannot get it off. So please excuse that. This is what baby girl is looking like at 32 and five, I think, 32 and six. I'm almost 33 weeks pregnant, which it blows my mind that at this point in my pregnancy with the boys, I had like three weeks left before they came. I'm kind of betting guessing five to seven weeks left like I'm really manifesting her to come the last week in May there's a little bit of a reason behind it which coincides with her name so I will explain that more if and when she comes in May but we're getting there and Harris's mom went ahead and brought over all of her clothes zero to three and three to six months she has shopped all the way up until I believe even some 12 to 18 months. She didn't bring that stuff over because she didn't want to overwhelm me, but I do have a lot of room in the closet here. So she is going to wind up giving me that stuff as well um, in the coming weeks. But we went ahead and organized baby girl's dresser for the most part. So I wanted to show you guys what we're working with. I will go through some of her clothes quickly. If you guys want a full haul of everything Harris's mom has picked up for baby girl, please let me know down below. I don't mind taking the stuff out and sharing it with you guys because her picks and her clothing choices for her are seriously so cute. But I'll go like very loosely over what she picked up. So top drawer here. This section will be for diapers. This section will be for wipes. And then I want to get a little like container to put in the front here to hold like A and D and that kind of stuff. These, I have like our nose Frida back here, some saline. These are some burp cloths. These are some bibs. And then these are all the socks that we have for baby girl. All of these socks I'm going to take out and put over here. And I'm going to put her bibs and burp cloths in these sections here. I just didn't get around to doing that. So that is the top drawer. I am so out of breath, guys. I'm trying to cut out my gasping. But that's the top drawer. The next drawer, this is the bulk of her clothes. So in my last video, I shared with you guys some things that I picked out and in a previous video, some things that I picked out from the boys that are gender neutral that I will be using for baby girls. So this 
is a lot of the boy stuff over here. As you can see by the pink, this is a lot of the new stuff that Harris's mom picked up. Um, this is her coming home outfit, or this is her name announcement outfit. I think this one is her coming home outfit. This is so cute. I'm a little worried that if she's a chunky girl, she's not going to fit in this, but it is pretty stretchy. And then it does come with this super cute bow. I can't remember if we said this was just a photo opportunity or her coming home outfit because one of the outfits that we got that has her name on it, we might use as her coming home outfit. But this little set is so cute. A lot of these sleepers have coinciding blankets that you guys will see in the next drawer and then back here is like a bathing suit of hers these are just plain onesies these are sweatpants from the boys and then these are all of the new um pics from harris's mom i'll show you guys my two favorites this one i am obsessed with it is this little like bubble jumper with like the little scrunch top this is so cute this is in i think zero to three let's see yeah, so hopefully we will have a nice little outing this summer and she'll get to wear this one. And then my second favorite, I love, I can't remember if it's this one. I think it's, I think, oh guys, all of this stuff is so cute. Like this little bubble outfit here. It's like a little kind of like overall situation. She has a lot of like bloomers and tops as well. If you guys want the full haul, let me know. But like, look how cute this style is like this i love for her and then all of this stuff is stuff from the boys and then she picked up just a few three to six month sleepers like this one this one and this one all of this is stuff from the boys i went ahead i couldn't find in the first bin that i went through of theirs or even the second bin that i went through of theirs all of their band tees and i was looking back at old photos and they were around three months old when they started wearing them and i found all of them from rowdy sprouts they're all in the size three to six month and i just feel like a little band tee a little pair of shorts and a bow and some sandals is so cute for her i feel like pulling the gender neutral pieces from the boys is a good balance between the super girly stuff that harris's mom picked out so this whole side is zero to three and this is three to six and then down here we have all of the muslin blankets that i kept from the boys these are all of the new blankets that go with a lot of the coinciding outfits we have a few hand crocheted blankets down here we have this cute little sock monkey one um, more sleep sacks for baby girl burp cloths and then that is my baby wrap that i plan to use um what are these yeah these are the six that i plan to use when she is super little and then there is just a few things in the closet here so like this is something that i'm keeping from the boys it was like a little romper set some sweatsuits this stuff is going to be perfect for the fall for like pumpkin picking this is a little sweatsuit set another little sweatsuit set this zara sweatsuit set i am in love with it is so cute a little denim set that has a bloomer and then this is a little, um, I think a bloomer, but with like a long sleeve top. So I'll probably wear like little tights and boots with it. This pumpkin picking would be so cute. So this is all of the stuff that got hung in here. And like I said, I have a great room. So she is going to bring over um, whatever else she has. Some 6 to 9, some 9 to 12, and I think maybe even some 12 to 18. And then to quickly go over what we plan on doing with this wall over here. So if you guys remember, these little animal heads used to be on this wall over here when this was just a playroom. It actually comes in a set of three. I plan on doing these two over here. So it'd be like little head, the hydrangea in the middle, and then another little head. And then I picked up these two baskets from Michael's today. I think I'm going to cut off the strap on it and then nail these to the wall right here so that she has a basket for her bows and a basket for her hats and then the third animal in this was a bunny i will throw up a picture right here harris's mom actually took that one home and painted it put like a little heart nose on it and feminized her and she is actually going to go right where that little nail is right there she just needed like more color on her face it was a little washed out against like this painting and the colorful blocks so she did take that home to paint so that little bunny will go there instead of the hydrangea piece that i shared that will go 
in between two these two animals here and then the big moose head that was on this wall um we actually put downstairs in the fireplace like hammered it into the fireplace that's in the den downstairs and it looks so cute so i'm glad that all of those pieces have a home and are getting used but i kind of quickly want to do this and see if i could get it configured and then after that i could sit down and do my 32 week update like I think it came out really cute I want to measure everything so that this would be right in the middle and the animal heads would be an equal distance apart and then I put the baskets in like the open spaces there and then her changing pad will go here and I think that's perfectly fine I don't think it's going to be like in her way or anything sitting or laying there and I think it looks so cute and pretty like this I'm going to fill it with her bows and her hats and set a picture to Harris's mom and see what she thinks. But I am really liking how her room is coming out. Once we add the little bunny over there, we're pretty much done with wall decor. I just put two and two together that I got my Tdap vaccine at my 32 week appointment, which was on Friday. And since about Sunday, I've been feeling that extreme fatigue that I explained in the beginning of the video where it's like, brain fog head in like a daze just like super run down even my body hurts so much and i've been attributing it to the third trimester which i'm sure being in the third trimester is playing a role on my level of fatigue as things are starting to slow down but i've just been feeling so tired and even with getting good sleep like i slept from 10 until like 4 a.m. last night. I did get up to go to the bathroom once and then Jack did wake up at 4 and I was up for about 30 minutes but then I knocked back out until like 7.15. Even with getting sleep, like I'm just so tired and I just remembered that I got my Tdap vaccine on Friday and I think the feeling a little bit run down, like my throat feels a little funny, my chest feels a little funny and the level of tiredness that I've been feeling maybe attributed to the Tdap vaccine. I went on Reddit and some people on there are saying that they too felt extreme fatigue and tiredness a few days after their vaccine. So fingers crossed that this is just a reaction to the vaccine and I'm not actually getting sick. So we'll see in a few days, I'll keep you guys updated with that. But I quickly wanted to sit down and give you guys a rundown on my 32 week appointment. I feel like the last time I gave you guys an update, I was still in like the late 20s, 28 weeks maybe 29 weeks baby girl had a growth scan around then and i think i updated you guys on all of that but i am now 32 almost 33 weeks i'm going to the doctor every two weeks and i had my 32 week appointment last week and it was a pretty quick standard appointment i feel like at this point unless you have questions or there is a hiccup in your pregnancy the appointments go pretty quick so i went in gave urine per usual. Everything was fine with that. No proteins in my urine. My blood pressure, they said, was like picture perfect, which is good. So no signs of preeclampsia or anything like that. And I didn't have that with the boys, but it is something that they monitor. I'm not swelling or anything like that. Um, so showing no signs of that. Um, weight, I am officially up 30 pounds, which I said I wanted to be up around 30 to 35 pounds total my pregnancy so we shall see i have about six ish weeks left if i deliver around 39 weeks so you typically gain like a pound a week i feel like at this point so i am feeling good about my weight gain i am overall heavier now than when i delivered the boys but that was because i was super thin when i got pregnant with the boys and i was 20 pounds heavier this time around when I got pregnant with baby girl, but 30 pounds up for me. Um, blood pressure is good. My funzel height, he said was 31. So even though I feel like I am so big and even my mom is like, you look big. 
I feel like in Florida she went through a growth spurt and I was feeling super big. He said, I was 32 weeks of my appointment. My fundal height is 31. Everything there is good. Like she's not measuring huge or anything like that. Like it seems pretty standard for the point that I'm at in my pregnancy. Um, what else did we talk about? I got my Tdap vaccine. Um, I'm trying to think. I asked him, I so I had a growth scan in 29 weeks and baby girl was measuring around three pounds. They told me that um, my doctor would schedule me for another growth scan if he felt like I needed it. And I asked him about that and he said, baby girl feels head down. He was able to like feel around on my belly and everything. Baby girl feels head down and I definitely feel her hiccups head down now. When I went to the 20 week scan, they told me she was head up with her head on my left side and her feet down and I would feel hiccups on the left side. But since then she has flipped. I feel her hiccups super low now and he has confirmed that she does feel head down. So because she feels head down and because her growth scan results were good I forget what percentile he said she was in maybe like the 55th percentile or something like that for her height and her weight he said her head circumference was a little small but those are super hard readings to get and it's nothing that he is concerned about there is no growth restriction or any real concern for him to want to do another scan at this point um, he said, maybe at 36 weeks, I'll get another scan if he feels like I need it. But since my pregnancy is progressing pretty smoothly and everything thus far has been good with baby girl in her scans, he's confident that I'm most likely not going to need another one. Um, he said, we'll know better closer to the end, like how I'm doing and how far she is in my pelvis once he starts doing internal checks, I believe around like 36 weeks, if that's something that I want. Um, but so far everything is good. Her heart rate was about 140, which I feel like was pretty standard for her throughout the pregnancy. Like I said, she flipped. I now I'm not really going to have like an estimate of how much she weighs. It's kind of nice with the growth scans that they give you those estimates. Like I said, they estimated that she was already three pounds at 29 weeks, which is what is making my family feel like she's going to be a big baby. But I just don't know if I'm going to see her again, which is crazy. I have a gallon Ziploc bag full of scans from the twins. And this time around, I only have three scans from her. And I never knew what was normal, what was a normal amount of scans to get in a single-term pregnancy since I've only ever experienced multiple pregnancy. But he told me it's usually like your 12-week, like your confirmation scan, your 12-week scan, um, your anatomy scan and then maybe one or two growth scans. And if there's no issues after that, you don't really see baby. So I don't know if I'm gonna see her again, um, but it does make me feel good that everything is progressing pretty much perfectly. I'm trying to think, I feel like that was it. That's all we talked about. I didn't really have any questions for him. I feel like I know what to expect. I did start drinking my red raspberry leaf tea. I do plan on collecting colostrum, but I'll probably start that around 36 weeks since sometimes that can make you go into labor so you don't want to start too early. And other than that, it's just time to get everything ready in the house. I do have a long running list of things to do. Um, I was talking with my friend who's also pregnant and do a week after me. We were like comparing notes. I need to like sanitize bottles and pinkies and pump parts. Obviously install her car seat get the swings out and the rest of the baby gear out. Her room is in pretty good condition, so that's done. I'll probably pack my hospital bag in like two or three weeks and finalize my birth plan in two or three weeks. And then I do have some other things around the house that I wanna do, like go through the boys' clothes and have their room organized and cleaned. So they're in a good spot once I go into labor. So that is pretty much my little update for the pregnancy thus far, now being at 32, almost 33 weeks. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the updates on Baby Girl's Room. Everything that I shared with you guys that I have gotten off my registry thus far, I will link in like an Amazon storefront and I will put that in the description box down below. So if you guys are creating your registry and it's on Amazon, or even if it's not on Amazon, a lot of the stuff you can get other places. 
um, and you see something that's caught your eye, you can add it to your registry or just shop it standalone. I'll have links to everything in the description box. And with that being said, I have no idea what my next video is going to be. <laughs> my brain, like I said, is all up in the air, so I can't even think straight. But nonetheless, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.